Chris. Second, yeah, sure. All right, All right Chris, uh, your bread and butter, 1500. <laughs> oh, First uh, thing I said to, to, I think it was Gary when I finished, I'm like, I'm sticking to the five. Like, holy moly. My, the speed is like, I'm lacking everything right now. Like, ultimate strength where I want to be, but the speed's probably my weakest point right now. And I think that showed it. Like, I literally felt like I was sprinting from the gun. So. But I mean, it's all about getting the effort in. Like I've been doing a lot of 5K stuff, so it's all about like, okay, get in there and turn the wheels over. Like, you know, 342 is 342, but like, it's gonna go down from here. So, or I guess I. Don't know. <laughs> how uh, how are you feeling coming into? I know Stanford, you were really pumped. I'm, I didn't get to talk to you at Oxy. I'm guessing you were hoping for more there. Yeah, I was pretty pissed after Oxy actually, but I mean, like, I went like I got really excited after Stanford in my training too and like I was I was really tired going in there and like you know we decided obviously 15 is not an emphasis for me so like I, I trained pretty hard coming into this like, but I hate when people say like oh I trained hard and that's why I ran Barrett but like I definitely felt it like I was tired like I accidentally I wasn't trying to run this much I added up my last seven days from Wednesday to last uh, Wednesday to la this Tuesday and I was 115 in Badger Balls and I was like oops I'm not supposed to be that high so I'm a little tired. <laughs> how, do you, how do you, you say I'm not supposed to be that high, how do you miscount? Uh, well, it was more of like I backloaded one week, week and frontloaded the other week, and then I just like added the miles ago. I was like, oh, that's too much in one, you know, a seven-day period. But we've been trying to stay in the 85, 95 range, and so 115 is kind of a jump. Yeah. <laughs> so. so what do you, you walking away from this, did you, did you I mean, get it was about getting the effort, and that's the same kind of like after I got done being ticked off after Oxy, like I got that hard effort in, and, and like even feeling subpar, I was able to get another 1320 under my belt, so it's like, okay, you know, things are going in the right direction, if I can do 1320s consistently, that means like get to Europe, feel fresh, you know, get the Hughes in the short, fast track, that pop off the 13 teams, uh, whether it's low, high, whatever it is. Like the fitness is there. If I can consistently run 1320, I can pop off a, a team this summer. So. I, I remember before Stanford, you were kind of like, you know, just kind of play this year out, mm -hmm. see where it goes. After you ran the 1323, did you did you let yourself think like maybe I can do more than that? I mean, I and I'm still not ruling out like there's still hope to make the team. You know, like I'd have to run the race of my life, and I know that. Um, and the only reason there's a chance still is you can chase after the, the U.S. trials. So. There's a chance, and I'm still kind of. The, what I learned after Stanford is I started getting excited trying to train to make my chances better to make the team. And now I'm just doing what I know I should be doing, the progress that we were trying to hit before. It's just a little ahead of schedule, but I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. Like I kind of started doing after Stanford. So, so you think maybe the problem at Oxy was a little bit maybe fatigue, doing too much workouts, or fatigue? Probably, and like I think more than anything, like going in there with too high of expectations and. Um, you know, I put myself in the race to run the standard. I put myself towards the front, and I think if I would have run a little bit less aggressive, like the race would have probably played out a little bit better for me. I wouldn't have gotten stuck leading with four or five laps to go. So, you know, I'm not, I, in the past I was fit enough to be able to do that and be fine, and I'm just not there yet. So, so you're just champs. You're probably gonna, you know, shoot for top three rather than try to run the legs off a of guy. Like exactly, like yeah. It's time. like if I basically the way I look at it is that third spot. It's relatively up for grabs, and that's what I'm going to go for. And um, yeah, I hope Lagat stays around for more than just this year, so I can get back and and we can continue the battle we had here a couple years ago. So I was just getting to the point where I was confident that I could run the legs out of anyone in the world, and then and got hurt because I got too excited. So Mo the moral of the story is I got to stop getting too excited. <laughs> All right, good luck.